What is Runic? Runic is a new archetype that just came out in Master Duel. They are comprised of spells, spells, and spells. However, they have several in archetypal ways to deal any damage to their opponents, so you might be wondering, how do you win games with it? Well, each trick play spell has two effects. The first effect will be some sort of effect like target an opponent's monster and negate it. This first effect will also banish the top cards of your opponent's deck depending on the card, so yes, this is a deck out strategy. There is one spell that banishes the top one card, two spells that banish the top two, two spells that banish the top three, and two spells that banish the top four. On top of that, there is also a spell which whole first effect is to banish the next amount of cards where X is the number of cards your opponent controls. There is also a field spell and continuous spell which we will touch on later and four fusion monsters. Each fusion monster requires two runic monsters to fusion summon and if you are observant you may notice that, that is quite literally impossible. Well each runic crypt play spell has a second effect where you can special summon any runic fusion monster from your extra deck to an extra monster zone. Here's a quick rundown of the monsters. Hugin on summon can search for your field spell, also can protect your cards from being destroyed, and if Hugin is killed it will return itself to the actual deck. Moonin on summon searches the continuous spell, and can also negate an effect that targets any face down or runic card you control. It will also gain a thousand life points in each end phase, which yes, I have seen someone pay 8000 life points to activate a solemn judgement because of Moonin. Gary on summon as the feel or continuous spell from grave, cannot be destroyed by card effects, and when it dies in battle can destroy one card your opponent controls. And finally Freki, which might not even be in Master Duel because I am making this video before the set drops, has 2000 attack, neither player takes any damage from battles with this card, but when it attacks you can make the opponent banish the top 2 cards of their deck, also when it dies you can add a runic crit play spell from your grave back to your hand. The runic field spell is called runic fountain, it allows you to activate your runic crit play spells from your hand on your opponent's turn. On top of that, once per turn if you activate a runic crit play spell, then on the next chain you can target up to 3 runic crit plays in your grave, pit them on the bottom of your deck, and then draw that many cards from the top. It is in fact draw 3 on both your turn and your opponent's turn every turn. The runic continuous spell, runic allure, forces the opponent to punish the top card of their deck every time any crit play spell is activated, and yes that does include if your opponent activates it. In the mirror, this is really stupid. For the crit play spells I will through these quickly, the effect that banishes one will also set a runic spell from your deck. The banished two cards will either destroy a spell to summon monster that your opponent controls, or discard a card from your opponent's hand if they had just added something to hand. The banished three effects negates an opponent's monster until end of turn, or you can stop a monster from attacking, but it makes it unable to die once that turn. The banished four effects will either make your opponent draw one card, or destroy an opponent's spell slash trapped card. In the TCG, it has seen some mild success as a pure deck, and so here were some sample decks that have topped some sort of event. Runic has performed best, however, when it has been mixed with a Synchro or Etsy's engine, such as Runic Sprite or Runic Goatee. However, Goatee and Sprite are not in Master Duel yet, as far as I'm aware, but the logic is with Sprite, Hugin is one of the strongest cards in your extra deck, and it's a level 2, which makes it a perfect extender for a deck that wants level 2s and wants to search really strong spells. For Goatee Runic, the logic is a lot more applicable to Master Duel. Your Runic monsters are forced to go to your extra monster zone but when you synchro summon you can summon to the main monster zone. That frees up your EMC for another runic fusion. Of course it doesn't have to be goatee that enables the synchro plays, you can experiment maybe runic punk for example. But that's going to be it for this video, later today I will be uploading a runic deck profile so definitely subscribe to see that when it comes out. There will also be some gameplay videos uploaded tomorrow so you can get a good feel for how it wants. Be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if this video was useful and I'll See you gamers next time.